today we have Tyler Oling who placed what? Third. Third place at the Altoona, Iowa Regional. And what were you playing today? Trick Stars. Alrighty, let's get into this. Alright, so we got the three Candina. Your standard. Uh, three Licorice. Uh, one Lily Bell. Uh, double Honest. Uh, I went two Eater of Millions because I didn't want to open it a whole bunch going first. Now you told me earlier today that you wish you would have played three Honest. Why? Uh, because Honest just like wins games. It actually won me my last game uh, in round eight because I just had it. The big booty plus the damage step, a lot of damage. It's really good. Big booty is good. Uh, three Droll, pretty obvious. Um, three Ogre. And three Ash. Lots of hand traps. Yeah, so that, that's literally all the monsters. So it's literally just a Trickstar engine with a bunch of hand traps. Um, hand traps win games, so it works. For spells, uh, I just ran one Desires. That way you can never Desires into a Desires. Uh, one Regeki and one Dark Hole. Uh, these came up a lot, and I'm like really glad I main both. Um, these are like the only really unique thing about my build, just Double Chalice. Um, this card was super relevant, in my opinion. Um, it actually also won me in my last game. He had a Thunder King on board, and uh, he also had a set Unending Nightmare. And I top decked the Twin Twisters to pop his unending, and then I chaliced his Thunder King, summoned Candina, and I had Honest in hand to attack over it for a game. So it was pretty strong. Um, then Triple Scapegoat, also standard. Uh, triple Light Stage, Triple Terraforming. So those are all pretty standard. Uh, then Traps, I ran two Copo Solene. Um, this, like, Card's pretty good going first, but I didn't want to open like a ton of these because I also was like trying to have like options to go second or first. Um, so th I think this was a good ratio. Uh, I ran a one of Ring of Destruction. This card's like pretty good. I don't think I saw very much today, but anytime I did, it was like pretty relevant. I mean, the burn plus just free target a monster and pop it. It's pretty good. And then of course the three reincarnation. All right, so that was the entire main deck. Do you want to show us the extra deck, even though you really didn't use it? Yeah, I'll do it. So I got, it's just a whole bunch of one ofs and I really only made Boar Load and like the cards to make it off Scapegoat, but I ran one uh, Break Sword, sorry, uh, one Ancient Sacred Wyvern, one Black Rose Dragon, uh, two Link Spider. Not ulti? <laughs> nah. Not ulti yet, okay, okay. <laughs> one Link Karibo, uh, one Mrs. Radiant, one Proxy Dragon. Uh, one Akashic Magician, uh, one Underclock, uh, one Trickstar Holy Angel, uh, one Crimson Heart. This is like one of the only cards I made today. Um, it's came up a lot in like other events I've played in and it's like really good. It was like pretty bad today, so like, I don't know, but I definitely would still run it. It's really good. Uh, one Firewall, I never did the loop. Uh, one Borload, that's like the only other link I really made. And then uh, one Skull Dread, which never really came up, but still good to have. And then... For my side deck, I'm a broke boy, so I can't afford evenly matched, so I didn't side it. Uh, I sided three dimensional barriers for the pen magician matchup, as well as anti spell. Um, and then I sided three twin twisters, three effect veiler, two sphere mode, uh, two gamma seal. Um, I never used gamma seal at all, uh, but basically every pen magician matchup, I literally sided in the three veilers. Uh, the three uh, dimensional barrier and two sphere mode if I was going second and it was like pretty much enough to like stop most of their plays in general like I didn't really have much difficulty with that matchup today and I played it like three times so it was pretty relevant. Alright, is there anything you changed about this deck? I don't think so. I mean I think it was pretty okay. Uh, maybe we'd take out the gamma seals because it never came up um, but I think the main deck was pretty ideal. Alrighty, well thank you so much Tyler Oling placing third at the Altoona Iowa Regional. Yet again, playing Trick Stars. That's all we got for now. This is Nate from the Scrub Academy, signing out for now. Peace out. <laughs>